Neil Brown just really good of keeping honest about his football team, but also what they need to get better at. And this will be returnable for Winston Wright from about the one yard line. And a pretty good return out close to the 30 yard line. Yeah, and, 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 and almost panicked and doing a great job well, today of not doing it. No panic here. It's a walk in touchdown for Daigie. What a terrific opening drive for West Virginia. Daigie off to a seven for nine start through the air and give him a touchdown run to cap it. We might have a takeaway in our game as Jared Dagey pumped, got caught in the pocket, the ball knocked out by Terrell Bernard. Oh, a shot here, not there for Dagey. Just watch the right arm coming right there. Swing by Bradley King, gets that ball to Dagey's hands, forces that fumble and turnover for this Baylor defense. Watch the right hand come through just as he's trying to tuck that ball away. The play wasn't there. That is just a perfect example of kind of the long lens. So after giving the ball away, Jared Dagey, and West Virginia dodge a bullet, and they're at their own 29-yard line with a straight-ahead handoff to Alex Sinkfield, and he blasts his way for a first down. I think they could kick the ball out down here to this bunch set. Blitz off the edge. Dagey doesn't see it. The ball is loose. Raleigh Tejada came on a quarter blitz, and Dagey had no idea West Virginia, though, will recover the fumble. You're going to see the corner blitz from up top. Look it down here. Keep your eye on the, the bunch at the bottom of the screen. Here comes Petrie right there. He's supposed to be blitzing. And that hit from the corner, the corner blitz gets home. Handle it appropriately. Obviously a tough loss for New England. Charlie Brewer under pressure. He'll be sacked back at about the 10-yard line. And onto the field for their runoffs. Ball tipped out at the line. Off the quick hitter from Dengi. And that's going to be a pick. A takeaway for Terrell Bernard. Number two, come out, jump right into the top of your screen. The athleticism to get up and hit that ball. And through all of it, he stayed because he believed in this program. Four man rush. Dengi. That's going to be intercepted. Picked off. Sean T. JT Woods, pardon me, all the way down to the 30 yard line. By Baylor defensively. This linebacker is going to drop back. I want you to keep vision on this defender. Here comes this in route. That defender is too deep for you to throw that football. Watch, he sinks, he sinks, he sinks. And Jared Deggie forces the ball over the top. Great job in zone coverage of those defenders getting in in front of them. And a big, tall receiver wrapped behind them. And have Charlie Brewer go low to high. That ball's got to get up high, face mask or higher, back in the end zone. Here comes a blitz. Brewer well protected. One on one in the end zone. RJ Sneed. He's got it for a Baylor touchdown. Watch Sneed at the bottom of the screen. Zero. He's got inside leverage. Set him and just continue to move back across that end line. The ball placement's really important. Up high by Charlie Brewer. Up high. Coming into your living room right there. Right at Sneed's face mask. Yeah, you're I, looking at me I like think you that is fine. a lack of discipline. It probably was. Right up the gut, Letty Brown. Carrying tacklers out to midfield. And now it's fourth down and about six after a 20-yard run. JT Woods made the stop. It's him strength, Dave Miranda, to be himself. You don't hear coaches say that a lot. And that was my favorite moment with him. Charlie Brewer is going to run and pick up a first down and more. 15-yard game for Brewer. He stops the clock at least for the moment. 35 seconds. Only a three-man rush again. Brewer out of the pocket, tripped up from behind by Darius Stills. Rauschenberg from 51 yards. It's blocked. And that will end the half. A flag down as well. Charlie Brewer back in the shotgun from his own 19-yard line after 10 of 14 for only 90 yards in the first half for the senior quarterback. He's going to roll off play action here and do it with his legs. Slides with a 16-yard gain on the first play of the third quarter. Charlie Brewer on the edge. This is a bootleg. And you can take that tight end if you want, but if you feel that defender, follow. Brewer off play action, and he ends up underneath Darius Stills again. 
Well, Rocky, that was the pair, Dante and Darius Stills, that we thought could be the big factor in this game, and they have been. That's why the bubble would protect that potential interaction between my family and I. Big play for Baylor here. Third down and five at midfield. Brewer tripped up behind the line. He goes down again. Third and 13. Only a three-man rush. So Brewer has all day. Nowhere to go with the football. And eventually he goes down. A three-man rush gets there, but a sack is followed by a flag. Actually marked him down after a gain of nine. So now Sinkfield gets outside, picks up the first down and more. Sinkfield down the sideline. Lee Brown again. Did he get there? Right at the goal line. Is he in? Left arm come through. When he turns he's sideways, he's not Falls down. down. That's a touchdown. Yeah, I think it's really close. I think he made it. Get him out of the pocket for sure and simplify his reads to get him to play faster. This is a two-man rush. And Brewer able to get one right to the first down marker. Not near show blitz. They will rush five. That throw from Charlie Brewer. May have been picked off. Sean Miller. He's got it. Did he stay in bounds? Pointing. That's called mid-pointing by those corners. See him on the right side? He let that post go. Reads the quarterback. Don't want to let that ball go. And you anticipate that post is going to take that zone defender away. And it doesn't. And he just falls off. Asante Samuel was one of the best ever at playing zone cover. Baylor's defense gets off the field. Their offense is just got to go execute. Charlie Brewer off play action. Under pressure. And again, he'll be sacked. The first man through was Josh Chandler Zanito. Instead of anticipating someone to get open or throwing people to get open. Very late. And a muff. A late fair catch signal from Sinfield and his own man ran into him. Comes up with the recovery. Watch Bryce Ford beat and right there. Just trying to do the right thing. Like he's trying to get inside of the Baylor player and shield him off, come right to the right side of the screen right there, shield him off from Sinkfield. He seconds up in this game, get completions, allow, force West Virginia to make the tackles. Brewer, over the middle, he's got a man in stride, and walking into the end zone is Josh Fleeks with the touchdown. Great job by Brewer. You see that ball go in between those defenders. Fleek's doing a nice job of settling in that zone, throwing that ball with a little bit of arc on it. From the 11-yard line, Winston Wright. And it turns out to be a big call. All the way out to the 40-yard line to start this drive for West Virginia. Hagee. Looking for the back left corner, and he's got it for the touchdown. Bryce Ford Wheaton wins the battle. And in overtime, West Virginia strikes first with six. Watch Ford Wheaton. Look back for the ball, look back for the corners, back his turn, give him a chance. He was so close last week, Bryce Ford Wheaton was. Two or three plays, and they said he just needs to finish. Great job by Daigie of seeing Milton's betting that ball go. Brewer looking for the equalizer. He wants it all on one play and he's got it. Beautifully designed. Ben Sims, the tight end, into the end zone for the touchdown. Tight end Sims right down here. He's going to down block and release. They're going to bring the receiver from the right side of your screen to clear out the coverage. Down block, down block, patience, release. No one's even paying attention to you. He's going up top again. Jump ball back in the end zone. That might have been picked. It was. He tried for the home run ball to start over time number two. And Ty Key Smith. Interception. He's got the interception. This is a field goal to win it. Third down and a yard. Eddie Brown, he's got the first down, he's got the end zone, he's got the game. Touchdown, West Virginia, and they win it in overtime. If your offensive line and your running back can take care of it for you. Yeah, they got dominant there.
in that third overtime drive. Second overtime drive just became dominant. Third down and a yard. Lenny Brown, he's got the first down. He's got the end zone. He's got the game. Touchdown, West Virginia. And they win it in overtime. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.